Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Uh, I am... So, I don't know why I started that so negatively. Uh, we are back here in Velen, and we are going... To, we're heading northeast towards um, Novigrad. We're going to check out the little cities, uh, that, well, the little settlements that, that, that are dotted around uh, the area. Uh, I'm going to deliver a spinning back fist to thin air in the process. Uh, we'll probably just have a jog down there. Um, Novigrad looks like it's going to be a big place to explore. Like, I think we were around Oxenfur for a good while. So this is Lucian's Windmill. Um, this might be a quest-related area, I'm not going to lie, as I don't know... I don't know who, who Lucian is. Um, but... Uh, Honeycomb. Just gonna rob rob these guys of all the honey. They've worked so hard to uh, to <laughs> to make. Novigrad Far Corners. Oh, so, so all this area is part of Novigrad. It's just not the main city itself. There's a trader here. Greetings. What do you got to sell? Uh, a great of Elvis Rune Stone. Interesting. Okay. Um, plus five sign intensity. 5%, sorry. Um, I will sell all my crappy items, which I will, won't use. Not the griffin armor. I do not want to sell the griffin items. I will tell you that for now. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, that will do me. Thank you very much for your money, sir. Pleasure doing yeah. business. Alright, so we'll continue on this road. Honeysuckle. Sounds delightful. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't think that's the first thing you would tell a stranger. Who's this dude? Oh, well, we're definitely going to be coming back to him at some point, aren't we? Halflings. Come again? Come again? Come again? Come again? Come again? I think he, I think he wants me to come again. Could be wrong, but I think something that he's done is implying that. There's elves here. There's elves and halflings here. You don't see many of them in any of the, any of the other areas of um, uh, Velen, really. Right. Yeah. So this. This area... Did, did, did the shady individual just just disappear? Oh no, he's just wandering around. Yep, that's me. Just gonna check around all these... Cleaver's Hench Dwarf. I'm gonna guess that there's a guy called Cleaver. And that's his, uh, one of his assistants. Can't think of any other logical explanation for, uh, for that, but I could be wrong. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll keep on checking around, checking around these houses, because you never know what you might find. Helmer. I don't know what... Oh, y'all will be fine. I agree, I agree, well said. Okay. Good day, good day, good day. Hello, folks. Are you well? I hope you're well. I'm just, gonna, I, I'm just here to loot your home because you, you all seem to be doing very well right now. Uh, right, that'll do me. Right, this notice board then. What is available in here? So we have two quests, or three quest ones, I think. Uh, house for sale. House in good condition. Selling because I'm moving to Kovia permanently. Price subject to negotiation. Isdreth. Delicious homemade cakes, just like your gran used to make, only from Aunt Amelia's. Apple crumbles, cheesecakes, plum tarts, and many others, all baked from the finest fruits and flowers straight from fields within the day's ride of Novigrad. After a long battle against illness, yesterday saw the passing into the, into the next life of uh, Senfanair, beloved grandfather, father, and husband. Ellen Blath Fenwed, uh, Dame N. 
Akelma, Ted, Egin, Evelyn, Dered, Ken Esavan, Esath, Fenwed, Ellen Blath. I've just butchered the Elven language and I apologise to everybody. Uh, contract Devil in the Woods. Dear Witcher Sir, if, if any be present here about that is, I have a hunch, eh, what am I saying? I'm dead certain that the woods I was lucky enough to gain possession of, or at least I felt lucky about that till recently. These woods are home to a cruel evil, a devil of some kind. I hired a gang um, of dwarven loggers not too long, long back to harvest lumber. Strapping lads, every last one having cut down many a mighty tree in his life. So you can imagine my surprise when said log has disappeared, all save one, and he claims we've seen a monster. I've marked our bounty for freeing my stretch of woods from all foul creatures, and dearly hope that soon I'll have the pleasure of giving it to someone. Sincerely, Bran Hotch. Is this like we had like a devil by the well? There's, it's going to be like a like a a night raid or something like that. We'll find out. The White Lady as well. Okay, good people. Take pity on the poor lot of us peasants. The fields outside of town are haunted by a race somewhat like a maiden appearance, though her visage is ghastly and sullied. You cannot walk within ten spans of the evil and hope to escape alive. It's thus keeping us from harvesting our crops, meaning famine and misery awaits us if nothing changes. So we plan to hand all our remaining gold to whoever drives the, this White Lady off or kills her. Helma, Ignatius' widow. P.S. Since I've got many an inquiry into the matter already, I'll let it be known right here. I'm not interested in remarrying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. And a high-stakes Gwent tournament. Gwent lovers, Count t invites you to come to the Passive Flora, where he shall pr proudly host the high-stakes Gwent tournament. On offer will, not be, will be not only riveting play against superb opponents, but also fabulous prizes for the victors. Only ladies and gentlemen with fortunes vast enough to cover their entry fee are invited to join. We also require all entrants to be in possession of an above-average deck, one fitted with good measure of neutral cards. Deck shall be checked before entry is permitted. Hope you see the Passive Flora. Okay, fair. I, I I I would say my deck is above average. I would I would hope that most people most people would uh, would agree with that. I could be wrong, but I I I, th I think it's a solidly above above average deck. And I do have, you know, your Yennefers and your 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 Zoltans who are all neutral. So yeah, I think I think we are somewhat equipped for a for a Gwent tournament. I think. The Butchers. I don't know if this will potentially be open later on, maybe. Uh, I'm going to meditate until daytime, actually. Just because, you know, it's uh, it's dark and I don't like the dark. I'm scared of the dark. Geralt's not, but I am. And there we go. Uh, so the Butchers is still not open. Um, so that's fine. I'm guessing he's just closed permanently. Check out these houses. I thought that was Jennifer for a second. I was like, what the hell is she doing here? I demand satisfaction. It's, it's your wife that needs to help you there, mate. I love that. I love that retort. Okay. Um, Witcher contracts. So the white lady is level 16, and we had a devil in the forest as well, didn't we? Uh, which one was that one? Lord of the Wood. That's the one. Yeah. Step 25. So we are still a bit off these uh, these contracts, unfortunately. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Any interesting markers around the area? Yes, there is. Over to this side and one just off the coast of Novigrad as well, seemingly. Okay. Well, we could go and do. It. We could go and head towards those now, I suppose. While we're here, um, we'll go and grab this one first. Why not? Probably won't take too much for us to to, to hop in the water and get it. I'm honestly so OCD about exploration in video games, and I really apologise. Uh, I'm almost like it's like it's like I have to comb it, and and if I if I jump somewhere when I've left somewhere else un unexplored, I I just like it's it just breaks my mind. Honestly, it really does. So this is so this is the glory gate. Apparently, my health popped up then for a second. I thought someone was going to try and fight me. 
Are you okay, old man? You seem to be somewhat mum mumbly right now. Right, smugglers. This that's the worst smugglers cash I think I've ever seen in my life. It's it's in plain sight. Anybody with a pair of eyes is gonna see that and go, what the hell's that about? It's so weird. Okay. So we've got a silver sword, a gambeson, gauntlets, boots. We got a bit of everything here. Let's have a look. Uh so the silver sword's not good. The gambeson is not good. Kaboots, gauntlets, nah. Now, nothing is better than the stuff we've got, so that's fine. Uh, we are in no desperate, desperate rush to equip those things. So the glory gate. Tufts and hooligans often end a night of drunken escapades under this gate after being thrown at the nearby taverns. There. Lucien Lefoy, the famous Oxenfurt sculptor and architect, bought this windmill several years ago and made to his country retreat. Sadly, the enormous popularity of the great Lucien's designs means he spends little time in his fortress of solitude and has entrusted its care to a steward. Well, I've not seen that anywhere. Okay. Right, so let's head to the west then, now. If we get our uh, if we get our roach. A killer prowls the city, you say. There always there always seems to be like a, like murders going on in in an RPG, as you know. It's like Skyrim. You had the butcher of uh, of, of oh, there's, oh there's a there's a port side gate as well. Interesting. Slow now. Don't, don't draw your sword, girl. What are you doing? I pressed what? I didn't realize that pressing the touchpad would would make you drink something. Though not the most stately of gates, this one's location in the bustling ports has made it the calling card of the city. Yeah. This looks like it's meant to be a, a blacksmith, but it's just not open or available to anybody. And, and, and what the hell is that shady individual's deal? He's just wandering around hooded, looking like a fucking Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 2 character. Baldur's Gate 1, actually. Yeah, generally, Baldur's Gate 1. Roach does not seem to want to gallop away today. I keep thinking that's Yennefer. I mean, eh. I mean, Yennefer's not an elf, but um, still, the horse whistler. Breaking in a horse's psyche is a simple matter of instilling your will as the rider into your mount, acquiring its trust and training its obedience. Horses are intelligent, noble beasts, and so they should be treated with tenderness and undecisive and firm energy. May the unquestioned authority in this area emphasize that when training one's mount a rider must eternally on, must eternally on the lookout for errors in the training itself. Every time the taming process ends in a failure, the rider must uh, look for the blocking error first of all, of all in in the his own actions. Secondly, in the horse's anatomy, and only in a last resort by concluding the horse has a naturally difficult temperament. Adhering to this principle protects one from undue punishments, which destroy the possibility of reaching an understanding between rider and mount, and make it impossible to gain the animal's trust. Uh, yeah, we've already read all those, obviously. Uh, okay, let's... Nothing else interesting to grab, I don't think. Dumplings. You seek someone, stranger? I seek... I seek a... 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 a Triss Merigold. Of a... of a... of a... And a uh, and a uh, Cyril, Cyr Cyrilla. Oh, it's a, oh, damn! I thought I could properly like nail a full name for for for, 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 for a second there, but no, I can't. I can't. I can't quite do that. I'm unfortunately not that uh, not that good with my memory. Let's kill these wolves. Is that a warg? That's a warg. Am I being shot at? Oh, is that like a... Oh, is that just NPC? Use? Yeah, it was like a hunter, I think. Who is that guy, actually? 
It's a Skyatel. Ooh, interesting. Skyatel. Wonder if I want. I wonder if. Um. Oh fuck! Why is my memory so bad? <laughs> wonder if. What's his name? What's his name? The Skyatel leader, not Vernon Roach. That's the Blue Stripes commander. The other dude. Well, well, we found the Skyatel camp. What's his name? What the fuck is his name? Oh my god, this. this oh. I still don't know why we tolerate your presence. Well, neither do I. It's you. I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. You know who I am? You know me? Where from? We met long ago in Brockalong. Possible. I can't say I remember. No surprise. You were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. Daryl has many a memory. Oh, let's see if this guy hasn't stuck them. What you're selling. That name is going to pop into my head at any point now, and it's going to, it's going to annoy the life out of me. A superior Dolbothana sword. Now that is a nice weapon, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that for a for a for a a, a moderate price. Oh, what's his name? Come on, Craig. He's, he's, he's like a big, he's a massive character in the in the last game. At least we sided with him as well. Oh my god, I hate myself. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. <laughs> I hate myself so much. Uh, there's there's some of these rune stones and glyphs are nice, but they're so expensive. Like you can't justify playing over two thousand gold for a glyph. Like, you, you can't, can you? That's scandalously expensive. So expensive. That will do me. I'm going to... Um... Yeah, I'll equip that, and let's put some runes into it. Armor piercing. Yeah, that will do. Uh... Oh, these are all lesser runes, aren't they? Uh, chance to stun and chance to stagger. Yeah, I'll do. Nice. A big old Dolbuth and a sword. Oh. Come on, Craig, you can do it. What was the name of the Skyatel commander? Not Letho. How can I remember Letho? I can remember Letho, but I can't remember. Go, go. Yorveth! Yorveth! The, oh, I was like, was it... I was thinking, it's speaking with a V or a Y? No, it's an I. Yorveth. Yorveth, the, 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 the Skytel command... Yeah, Skytel leader. I fucking hate myself. I really do. Honestly, how the hell did I forget Yorveth? What a bro. Because we... We did... We did save him, didn't we? We, we did save Yorveth. We definitely saved him. Come on, Rose. Uh, Because Triss actually took him away. Didn't she? So, uh, so yeah, I, I, I do wonder if he will possibly appear at some point. Maybe, who knows? And uh, the same pro could probably be said for Vernon Roach, actually. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, should probably check out the lighthouse at some point as well while we're in the area. Uh, that looks quite could, could be quite intriguing. For now, though, I'm gonna go swim out to this wreckage. Looks like it looks like another smuggler's cache. Yeah, I, they. they they put their wares in such obtuse locations. Alright, let's go. I mean, if I can actually loot these, I was going to say. Condottier's boots. Not bad. Not not bad. Just, just, just not quite there. Not quite there. Nice. We've got plenty of repair kits, at least, so so we shouldn't have to waste money on um, on any uh, blacksmiths or anything. 
more Condoyer's boots. Did, did, did I get two pairs of the same boots? No, oh, I think I actually got a lesser version of the same boots. Jesus Christ. Cool. Okay, let's surface. And... We shall head over to the aisle as well. There's also a ship here, which could have something on it. We don't know. Definitely interesting seeing some Skyatel very close to Novigrad as well. You, you do wonder if they could be up to their old tricks at some point, you know? I don't know how well the Skyatel are, Skyatel are doing these days, but... They probably do still have some semblance of organization, especially if, like we say, more mages' notes. Interesting. Kian has enlisted with the Flying Stag as a guard of sorts. A hefty sack of Novigrad crowns convinced the captain to lodge me in his cabin. All is going according to plan. I'm actually finding this expedition amusing. I'm glad I didn't contract the kidnapping out some bulgy, bulgy armed halfwit. I'll do it more gracefully myself. He's cautious. I won't be able to point him down with a casually placed poison apple. Guess I'll have to zonk him out with a spell and whisk him away via teleport. I just hope he won't plop us down somewhere in the middle of Temple Isle instead of in my quarters below it. The power pulsating from my laboratory tends to throw off a good portion of my attempts to teleport home. Very high level resistance to psionic spells. Time needed for a full penetration of his nervous system, a half an hour at least. A few more moments and the Witcher will be ready for transport. Now I just need to wipe out our tracks. Perhaps a little change in the weather? While waiting for more favourable atmospheric conditions, I look through his things. Some very intriguing documents. A map of Est Tayar, crafting diagrams of Elven provenance. Margin note, highly interesting sketch for a one-handed crossbow, most likely used to hunt draconids or, or ornithosaurs. Must ask about this during interrogation. Confirms my theory that the witches of the cat skill use elven weapons. And wait for it, Professor Sigismund's, Sigismund's Glogger's notes. It's clear that the witcher had something to do with the famous professor's disappearance. I think I might have overdone it a bit with those, with those cumulonim by. No point in tarrying, time to evacuate. I mean, yeah. Scavenge on cat school gear. So explore the passages under Temple Isle and explore the ruins of Estaya. So that would be the one that we just uncovered. So there... That's Temple Isle, and Estaya is all the way up there. Cool. Right, so we'll get the guarded treasure. Since that was what we came over here for. What is it guarded by, though, is the question. Is, that, is it a wyvern again? Are, are we dealing with another wyvern? I can't see whatever's guarding, guarding it. Is that... Eh, it's a wyvern. No, it's a basilisk. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm... I'm... I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Can we add this boy? I think this is weak to add. Yes, and also Draconid Oil, Grape Shot, and Golden Oriole, they're, they're the same as the Wyverns, really. Ah, you bastard. Right, I'm gonna slice the living shit out of you. Or you're gonna claw the living shit out of me. Either one. Either way it works. Nice. Beautiful. Ooh, off with your head, you little bastard. Okay, that's me. So, as far as grown stone, condo more condo years boots, Redanian halberdier's armor. Sounds lovely. Probably not that good though, I imagine. No, it's not. It was never going to be as good, was it? It looks better. It's not as good. Uh, okay, so we're going to end this episode here, I think, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we will head... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Captain's Log. Uh, left Novigrad, heading south to, to, to Bremervood. All's calm. Arrived in Bremervood. Port's full. Four hulks, six cogs, one carrack, and nigh on a dozen longships. Strange. Uh, near half the longships carry privateers in the Empire's employ. Now, what, what's old Nilfgaard want a pirate fleet for? And why is she anchored in Bremervood? Done loading, all passengers on board were leaving Bremervood, call set for Novigrad. Strange, a mage paid through the nose to share a cabin with the Witcher. Freaks are drawn to each other, it seems. That witch is a real treasure. It's not just about monsters, even customs officers are more um, civil with, with Kian around. 
and they aren't as annoyingly uh, scrupulous as usual. Seems the legends surrounding our witcher have curtailed their zeal. Pressure's falling rapidly, winds change directions, could use that mage now, one that followed the witcher like a shadow, but the two of them are nowhere to be found, cowards. Boatswain says he heard a terrible ruckus in the witcher's cabin this morning, with bright flashes coming out from under the door, being quiet since, must investigate. Their cabin's empty, can't search the ship now, need to reef the sails, won't make it to port, must stay out to sea, we'll raise the stay sails and hope the gods watch over, watch over us from there. Uh, yeah, they didn't. I'm sorry to say. Uh, so... It seems like... Yeah, the witcher named Kian. So, so the mage got pretty much stalked and hunted. Um, so, so the the witcher got got hunted down, stalked by but by, by a mage essentially, which is a, a scary prospect. It was obviously after him for one reason or another. Uh, he clearly wanted to knock it, knock him out. I think he didn't want to kill him. I think he wanted to take him back from experiments potentially. Again, a horrifying thought. Uh, okay, so we're going to end this episode here, guys. Uh, next episode, we shall probably check out that lighthouse over in the distance. Then we'll head back to the south of Novigrad to check out the other surrounding areas. So thank you for watching again, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.